we're going to be building a Section 8 portfolio for Dr. Joe. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. Currently, uh, due to the social distancing guidelines from the coronavirus outbreak, working from the home studio office, but not to fear, essential field staff at Holton Wise, still in the field, still handling things. We're renovating properties. We're placing tenants. We're doing everything we would normally do all systems ago. We just have non-essential sales, administrative accounting staff working offsite temporarily, but that's not going to slow us down. And a person who should be interested or not interested rather, but uh, knowledgeable on the medical community is my man, Dr. Joe. Dr. Joe, this is your first video with us, brother. Uh, you just recently moved to Cleveland. You've been in Cleveland for about a year, and you're an uh, anesthesiologist working at Metro, and uh, you're interested in properties in up-and-coming neighborhoods, kind of around the metro area. If anybody's familiar with the billion dollars going into the immediate neighborhood around Metro, it's going to be you, my man, and you're interested in building up a Section 8 portfolio between yourself and your wife, you guys have uh, 19 mortgages to utilize towards this and uh, you're looking for path of progress type deal. So like I think stuff on the near west side of Cleveland is going to be perfect for what you are trying to do. And the first property I've got for you, 2060 West 103rd, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102, listed for 74900 Now, as you can see, as of May 12, 2020, this property was no longer available. This went under contract, it's contingent. That means it hasn't yet closed. It's under contract with another buyer. Nobody can buy this. So why in the hell am I showing it to you, Dr. Joe? Well, I got some inside info for you, brother. That particular client that put it under contract happens to be my client. And I've got a ton of inside information on this deal. And after the inspection report came back, my client chose to move on from this deal. So first, what I want you to do is see the analysis that I performed for him. 2060 West 103rd, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. This is priced at 74900 As you noticed, it was recently dropped down from the original price, which was 79900 this is another situation where the seller, in my opinion, I think they overpriced their listing. Dude, that's a cardinal sin, man. Uh, the agent, uh, Keller Williams agent, we're not going to blame the agent for uh, listening to too high, which by the way, I got a gripe right now, man. We got to talk about this, folks. I, I see on the internet and I, I see people complain all the time. Like, you know, you, you see like disgruntled sellers, they go on the internet and they bitch and they whine and they moan. Like I listed a property with an agent and he listed the price too high and it sat and it never sold. Wah, 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 wah. Man, fuck you. All right. Fuck you. If you've ever gone on the internet and said something like that, fuck you. If you thought that, fuck you. If you thought that anybody that said that wasn't a fucking asshole, let me explain something to you guys. There is no scenario in this business where the seller is the one who wants to list the property really low and the realtor is like, no, 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 let's push the price higher. Let's push the price higher. That's not how this works, man. Typically in these situations, the listing agent wants to list it for lower because they need the property to sell. They don't care about an extra 3% commission on an extra 10K. They don't care about that, right? They just need to get it to sell. It is always, always the seller who is the one it is pushing for the higher price, not listening to their listing agents. So, you know, anytime you guys see these sellers out there that they're just griping that their agent listed that property for too high, no, dude, call bullshit on them because I guarantee it 999 times out of a thousand, they are the one who pushed for the higher price, right? And the agent just kind of got bullied into going along with it because they wanted the listing and maybe they're you know, hoping the seller would, you know, come to their senses if it didn't move. I don't know. But I just, I wanted to make sure I got that gripe off, off my chest, man, because I, I see people complaining about that and just, you know, 
dog and their agents and that and that's just bs man because it ain't it's not it's never the agents who are are pushing for the higher price but you know that little mini rant nonwithstanding the 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 price is still too high okay this particular property carry i want you to pick this up at sixty thousand dollars now they did a pretty good job renovating this sucker first before we get to the photos let me read what they said this three bedroom one bathroom home is too good to pass up the whole house has been freshly painted. Newly updated kitchen is a must-see. This home would be a perfect starter home or investment home. The backyard is ready for you to make. Make it what you want. New asphalt driveway being installed. That is key when we see the photos later, dude. You're going to see that driveway was smoked. Uh, schedule a virtual or in-person tour while you can. This home won't last. Now, uh, one thing I want to talk about, right? They said this three-bedroom, one-bathroom home. Well, they've also, if we scroll up here, as you can see, they also wrote that it was three bedroom with one and a half baths. So I believe there's two baths in this particular property, uh, but we have conflicting data. So it might be a three, two, it might be a three, one, uh, not a hundred percent sure. As we scroll through the photos, I think they did a pretty good job, which by the way, some of these photos that they, they put up, um, they're very low quality photos. So some of the photos are probably gonna appear pretty pixelated on your screen. Don't shoot the messenger. They're not my photos. They're the photos of the listing agent. And in said photos, they only show the one full bath. So uh, I am not 100% sure if there is or is not that half bath. It's probably in the basement if it is there. Um, so this might be a 3-2, which I know you love 3-2s, man, but it also might be a 3-1. Uh, regardless, uh, as far as rent goes, you know, we're going to target Section 8, definitely Section 8 neighborhood. A uh, thousand bucks a month, so a thousand bucks a month or twelve thousand a year. You know, normal, you know, things, right? Of the thousand that comes in, you know, four eighty-five is going to go out the door. Hopefully, they uh, get us that brand new driveway because, as you can see from the photos, driveway is never really that big of a deal in Cleveland itself because there's no point of sale. But dude, this one is just torn to pieces. Uh, one other thing, right? It's 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 pretty much rent ready. I don't anticipate there being anything major of course we'll find out if there's any latent issues i'm not addressing when we do the inspection and then when my team after closing when they go out and they do the uh rent ready inspection you know they're looking for things like do all the windows open and stay open without a stick having to be in there do we have smoke detectors in every single room all the appropriate places are there batteries etc so there may be a few bucks that need to get spent either stuff that my guys you know pick out or that the home inspector picks out. But one other thing, I didn't account for this uh, in your return chart, because you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Uh, but there is no garage here. All right. Now, not a big deal. But if you'd like to avoid paying lawn care, right, as you see, we got a nice zero here on the lawn care line item. Now, when you do single family homes, so long as you provide the tenant with the ability to store a lawn, uh, their lawn equipment, a lawnmower, right? You need to give them a garage or a shed. Now, if you wanted to build a garage, since we're going to have a brand new pad, brand new driveway or whatever, uh, you know, I don't know if they're going to replace that garage pad. If they did, it's not going to be that much. You could probably build a garage for like 14, 15, maybe 16 K, but I don't even want you to do that. What I would recommend is just getting like a shed less than a thousand bucks. We can get a shed in there and uh, just let the tenants store their lawnmower there. So I think the shed's going to be the way to go. And then you don't have to pay for your lawn care. If you don't want to go that route, you're going to have to pay for lawn care and it's going to run you five twenty eight a year. So, you know, you got a two year payback if you get a shed. So I think getting the shed is the smart move. Um, so assuming you got the shed, we should be bringing home five fifteen a month. If we pick it up at the price that I like it, $60,000 is 10.3 cap with your 20% down loan. You only need to put down $12,000 mortgage should be 48,000. And this is going to be another huge earner for you, man. This should be a 28% cash on cash return. So now, Dr. Joe, after that analysis, what had happened is uh, we went and we put this thing under contract. Now I was trying to target it at a price of 60 K for my guy. And I uh, did a bang up job as I usually do. I managed to get this sucker under contract for 59000 So we were actually ahead of the curve here. And uh, then what we did is we got the inspection report, which I've uh, put on the screen for you. And uh, after reviewing the inspection report, our uh, client had some issues and he decided to move on from this deal. So even though the MLS does not yet reflect that this one's available, I have the inside knowledge that this has happened to be going back on the market. And I'd like you to be the guy that takes it down. 
Now, from this inspection report, the two biggest things that I see that are of concern, the rest of it's, you know, fairly expected. But what we got over here, it's, uh, I think it's a page six, okay, page six. I want to bring your attention to that, where it says driveway slash parking. Now, they were supposed to be doing the driveway, right? Yeah, that's what we wanted them to do. That's what they said they were going to do. But as you can see, they only did half the fucking driveway. Uh, you know, is it the end of the world? No. Do you necessarily have to replace the back end of that driveway to rent this? No. But like, what the fuck, man? You say you're going to do the driveway, then you only do half the fucking driveway. Uh, so because of that, I feel like we need to try to punish them a bit. And then going to page 27, this is something that uh, sometimes scares people, but it's actually not that big of a deal. All right. What we have here is going to be some sagging uh, from the ceiling joists. Okay. Now, you know, the knee jerk reaction when, uh, people see this, if, you know, they haven't been in the, the construction and the trade industry for a long time is like, Oh no, sagging ceiling. That must be a big structural problem. The building's going to fall over. Holy crap. This is a big deal. Blah, 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 blah. Not necessarily the case. This is actually not a big deal. It looks way worse than it really is. Uh, all you got to do in this kind of thing, man, this is super common with these old homes, man. This is a very, very old home, right? Built in 1916, right? We're over a hundred years old. That's, that's the housing stock in the Cleveland market, which I'm sure you've noticed since you moved here, right? Uh, but all we got to do, this is a teeny tiny little job, bro. Actually, all we have to do is you just, uh, you break up the floor a little bit and you put a couple uh, more support joists and then you jack them up. Totally normal. Uh, happens all the time. It's a couple thousand dollar job. It's actually very cheap. So we were under contract at 59K. We got this inspection, which you've now reviewed. I think the smartest thing to do would be for you to present uh, these sellers with a new as is offer. I'll explain to them that you've already reviewed the previous buyer's inspection report, but we got these two issues of concern, man. You guys only did half the driveway and then boom, we got saggy, uh, you know, saggy floor joists. We got to do structural issues and I'll of course play up the, uh, the severity of that on your behalf. And what I would like to do is for us to try to get $5,000 out of these folks. Like at 59, even though I know these two new things, it's still a pretty damn good deal. So if you had to pay 59, that's cool. But I think we can use this as some leverage. And I would like to, best case scenario, pick it up for you at 54. But if we got to go up, if we got to meet somewhere in the middle between 59 and 54, or worst case scenario, at 59 again, everything I said previously holds true, it would still be a solid deal. So I think this would be a great addition to your portfolio here in the Cleveland market. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show. Then I'm going to get into the second property I think will work great for you. Good day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Welcome back, Dr. Joe. Now the next one. Uh, this is going to be a little bit lower on the uh, acquisition cost spectrum. Uh, 
different situation here. This is another one that I happen to have some pretty, uh, pretty decent inside knowledge on. Not as much as before, but I've actually looked into this for another client. Uh, he just happened to not be interested in the particular deal. I did two properties for him. We moved on the other one. He was not necessarily interested in this one. But based on everything I've learned from you thus far, I think this will make uh, great sense for your portfolio. And if I'm wrong, if I'm barking up the wrong tree, brother, that's why we do these 10 property packages, okay? If for whatever reason, the two properties I think is going to be a perfect fit for you, if you don't necessarily think those are the perfect fit for you, you know, on the next video, we're going to move on. We're going to adjust. We're going to adapt. I'm still working with the, the two clients we're talking about in this video, right? Uh, you know, both of these guys ended up not doing these deals. We're still working together, figuring out what fits exactly for their portfolio. Portfolios and we're going to do the same for you. Uh, but from what I've got from you right now, even though this is going to be a learning process of back and forth between you and I, I think this one should make some sense. So I'm going to show you the footage now. 1534 West 102 Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. This has been on the market almost two months as well, right? This is listed by a Howard Hanna agent for $40,000. I happen to think that price is too high. I do not see them selling that for this price. Uh, reason being, right, this is also a D-class neighborhood. Now, this is uh, not going to be affected as much by that Metro Health um, investment, okay? It's not in the immediate neighborhood. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're sick, okay, and you got to go to a hospital and you live in this house, that's the hospital you're going to go to. But you can't, like, walk walk your dog around the block and uh, end up on the Metro Health campus. So will it be affected? Probably. Will it be affected uh, as drastically? Probably not. I don't want to, you know, make you think that. But this is also close to another incredibly popular neighborhood. We got the Edgewater neighborhood just north of this. Super popular neighborhood, right? Neighborhood um, got a lot of, you know, great stuff going on, high demand, high prices. So, you know, you're looking on a long-term horizon. Well, if you're looking long-term horizon, man, the best thing to do is buy properties just on the outskirts of the places people are going, right? I mean, we could, I could sell you properties. We could analyze properties that are in the hot neighborhoods right now, but you're going to pay for that, right? You know, you're coming at this with a thirty to fifty thousand dollar budget, so you know you're just getting started. We, we we're not we're not you know working with hundreds of thousands of dollars right now. So you know we should be targeting properties that are just on the outskirts, right? Just on the wrong side of the train tracks, uh, so to speak, right? Because the idea is that's going to go up in the future. So I'm going to see you know long term horizon. I th I think this could be pretty good, but right now you know I think we can get a, a pretty decent price on this because. Uh, just cruising through the photos, as you can see, like the place is a, it's a dump, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's a dump, right? It's, it does not look great. It's a freaking dump. Now, one thing, and I've talked about this in, a, in another video as a major red flag. I'm actually going to put that video in the show notes below. I'm going to bring it to your attention right now. Looking at this photo of the living room, right? Look up at that ceiling fan. What do you see above that ceiling fan? You see a drop ceiling. Now, that's how I know this house is a goddamn dump, okay? Drop ceilings are a red flag. If you see a drop ceiling anywhere other than a basement, that should, you know, alert your brain that something is going on here. What happens is, you know, if there's a bathroom, if the bathroom is directly above that, which I, it probably is, right? There's piping in, in, uh, in the bathroom, right, under the floor, okay? What happens is, you know, if that piping starts leaking, Okay, it starts damaging the ceiling, and then you'll get some uh, sellers that uh, they either try to hide that by installing a drop ceiling, or you know maybe they fix the leak and then they just put in a drop ceiling because they don't want to fix the ceiling the right way. What that shows me is you know they're taking shortcuts, they're half-assing things. So you know a novice buyer could walk into this home. You know, you're in this living room and you look up and there's just a nice, you know, white ceiling. You don't see any issues. But underneath that, we could very well have a ton of mold, water damage, rot. So, you know, these analysis, you know, that you're getting from me, these desktop analysis, these are great. These are going to help you do your due diligence, but they are not the end game, right? This is a great start and I'm able to point these things out to you. But what we're going to do is we're going to continue to do due diligence and we're going to buy this property. Well, we're going to put it under contract. We're going to attempt to rather. 
put it under contract contingent on your own third party home inspection. And we're going to make sure that home inspector gets his head up in there. See, so he can see what's behind that. And then of course we'll make uh, adjustments to our offer as necessary. Right? So that's, you know, that's what you're paying me the bucks for, right? To identify these types of red flags right off the rip, right? Cruising through some of the other photos like this kitchen dude, that floor crummy, uh, we just got a hodgepodge mitch mismatch of cabinetry, right? Like the upper cabinets are from one era. The the lower cabinets we've got two, like they all, all appear to be the same cabinets. The one uh, upper panel thing is missing there. And then look at the countertops, right? They're they're not even connected. They're not the same countertops, right? It's just a fucking dump, really. I mean that uh, backsplash looks like shit. Apparently this guy we got some fucking shitty ass bowls like hanging. I mean the whole thing's just a fucking dump, right? It's a goddamn dump. Okay, so it's crummy, but that's good. We want it to be crummy because it's crummy. It's listed for 40000 right now. I don't, I don't think anybody's buying it, dude. It just looks like crap. Uh, it's not a rental, by the way. It's, it's occupied by the owner, so um, there is no rental income coming in. So because it looks like crap, I don't think a lot of people are going to be that interested in it just because it, it shows horrendously, right? Uh, because of that, I'm going to try to get this thing for you for $30,000, $10,000 off the list price. And because it's such a dump, right off the rip as soon as this homeowner moves out we're going to put 15k into it right so we're going to be all into this bad boy for 45,000 doing that we should be able to be section 8 approved getting ourselves a tenant just like I talked about it in the Carlisle property 1000 bucks a month government guaranteed rent now let's run the number analysis on what things are going to look like from a cash flow perspective after we got that $1000 coming in so $1000 comes in repairs and maintenance we're still going to calculate for those 50 vacancy and non-payment 50 capex 50 because even though we have section 8 eventually people are going to move in and out right it's just now that we have section 8 i can i can hope for some consistency with the performance of the properties like if we're in a rough neighborhood and we're just on cash paying tenants i mean these people are just so uh unpredictable right they you know one small thing in their life goes wrong and dude, the first thing they don't do is pay rent right so this just adds us consistency we still need to factor the fact that eventually there'll be non-payment coming in but it's a controllable amount taxes cheap dude 60 insurance another 50 bucks again everybody click the show notes below get a quote from my team whatever you are paying in insurance right now i guarantee you we can get that a little bit lower. Let us work our magic and put a little bit of money in your pocket. I mean, guys, COVID-19, coronavirus, man, people are freaking out. You know, a lot of businesses are closed, right? So a good way to increase revenue is to keep more of your money from going out the back door. That's what my team can do for you guys, right? Water sewer, 75. Long care, again, tenant will do that. PM, 100 bones. So on average, we should spend approximately 435 of that $1,000 a month that comes in, leaving us with 565 on average. Now we'll finance this bad boy too. Cool thing, right? Even though the property's a dump, it's probably livable, right? We got a dude living there right now, so we'll still be able to get you a loan. Um, if you do not have your own lender, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. We will get you our list of lenders. A lot of people are shocked to find out that we have lenders that can write loans this low, right? This would be a $22,500 mortgage. $94 a month would be your payment. A lot of people have the false impression out there that lenders will not write loans under 50K. Not true. A lot of lenders won't. Very, very, very few of them will. But of course, we have those contacts. We have lenders that will write you fixed interest, low interest, 30-year loans. These are tax deductible. The interest on this is tax deductible. They will write those loans for you as low as $20,000. That is their loan minimum. So hit my team up for that list of lenders, sales at holtonwise.com. Doesn't matter who you are. You know, you're not Brent. If you're out there watching this on Holton Wise TV, I've sent Brent this video probably three months ago. Um, Hell, the coronavirus pandemic's probably over and you're watching this wondering why the hell I'm talking about coronavirus so much. But when I filmed this, this was three months ago. And then after the deals are gone, then I released them live on Holton Wise TV for the rest of you guys out there to watch them. So if you're anybody out there, even if you're not going to do a deal here in Cleveland, that's okay. Maybe you're doing deals uh, down in, um, you know, where Brent lives, down in Southern Ohio, or maybe you're doing deals in Detroit, wherever you're doing deals, guys. My lenders, they're going to write these loans on properties in all 50 states. So get those, get that list of lenders, guys, sales at holdenwise.com. 
after you pay off all that mortgage, that teeny tiny mortgage that we're talking about, Brent, this property, that'd be a 25% cash on cash return. And that is factoring in the fact that you're going to have to put up $7,500 in cash for the down payment, plus another $15,000 to get this thing section eight ready. After you do all that, we account for all that. This is still going to kick off a 25% cash on cash return. And I believe that we can give you a level of consistency here because we're going with the government guaranteed rent. Now, all right, Dr. Joe, that's what I've got for you on today's show. Again, man, let me know what you want to do. Uh, if you want to move on the first one, if you want to move on the second one, uh, let us know. We'll write up those contracts. We'll begin negotiating on your behalf. I don't have any changes or, or updates on uh, the 103rd property. I'm sorry, not the 103rd property, the uh, 102nd property. Uh, from that previous analysis, everything that I said then uh, is fairly consistent right now today. Whereas on the 103rd property, we do have new information. So I want to go lower. I want to, again, pick it up between 54 and 59, 54 being the best case scenario. Uh, everything I, I said in the West 102nd one, though, that, that reigns true. We're pretty much in the same boat there. Uh, but I think both of these deals make sense. I think this would be great uh, use of your funds, get you going on property number one, number two uh, for you and your wife's portfolio out here in Cleveland. But if I'm barking up the wrong tree, let me know, and we will make an adjustment on the next video that I send to you folks. Everybody else out there, if you're watching my man Dr. Joe's video and you're like, hey, this seems like a pretty good idea, I'd love to get some unbiased uh, on the ground analysis. I'm looking to invest out of state, but I don't want to, you know, put my money in a high risk situation. That's what we do, folks. We provide you guys with the most transparent and risk mitigated way to invest in real estate here in the Cleveland market. So if you'd like to work one on one like this with me and my team, go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab and click on the MLS search and analysis show order yourself a package. Personally, I prefer the 10 property package for my investors. Number one, I discounted it. You get a much cheaper price per property. And number two, it provides us a lot of back and forth, right? This is real estate investing, guys. Everybody's looking for properties that make the most money. I get that. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm good at what I do. I know what I'm doing. Uh, we have, you know, huge connections here in the Cleveland market, but don't think that like we could just put together super profitable deals like you like that. It's not like they're all just, you know, hanging on trees. Like it takes some work uh, to get deals done, right? We got to beat sellers down in pricing. We got to deal with, you know, millions of other people in the world looking for these same prices. Like the better the property, the better the deal, the more people looking for it. And uh, it takes time, right? Just because you want to do one deal, you want to do one awesome deal, it doesn't mean I'm just like, boom, snap my fingers and you get this beautiful, profitable deal, right? It's, it's going to take some back and forth, some work, and uh, you're not going to get a deal every single try, right? We're going to be trying to put things together, and there's going to be a lot of deals that fall apart. So the 10 property package really allows me and my team to put the time, to put the resources, to put the effort into building something for you long term and really get to know your goals, your wants, your needs. Uh, so I think it's paramount to do the long the long package. But if you're an investor who's already looking at other deals and you already have something you're really interested in and you just want my take, you know, we offer you the ability to just have me come in and provide some due diligence for you on that property, just one at a time. Kind of like, you know, due diligence is exactly like you do with a home inspection, right? Step one should be me to make sure it's a, a profitable investment. And then step two, you know, I handle everything outside the walls. And then step two, we bring in a home inspector to handle everything inside the walls for you before you risk 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 grand. So that's, uh, you know, we have all those options. It's all a la carte, guys. So whatever works for you, we've got it available. That's it for today's show. Y'all stay safe out there. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee, 
as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.